Some school teachers from Shanghai, China had the chance to check out the San Gabriel Valley recently. They wanted to see how local businesses here in the U.S. operate. Administrators from the East San Gabriel Valley Regional Occupational Program invited the guests to hear from local business owners and executives on a panel at the program's West Covina headquarters. Our very own Tammy Devine was asked to be a part of the panel. She told them all about Crown City News and the TV skills students receive through the International Media Training Center. Other panels include workers from Wells Fargo Bank, an Arcadia Realtor and Chamber of Commerce, Commerce member, and members of the West Covina Business Association. ROP staff members say this was a great opportunity for both the businesses and for the guests from China. We have visitors who are here from Shanghai Commercial School to learn some tips on business, finance, and accounting. So uh, the most important, impressive part that I have uh, learned, experienced here, is how to branch out and networking with a business. Because uh, we prepare our kids to find a job, to teach a course in the classroom, but also we have to help them to grow, become a, a responsible citizen. The San Gabriel Unified School District received a $150,000 check from the San Gabriel Educational Foundation. The check was presented to Superintendent Dr. David Yoshihara and School Board President Ken Cheng during a governing meeting on August 26. The school district plans to use the funds on a variety of different programs, including elementary music, visual arts, middle school drama, after school staffing, AVID, mock trial, speech, debate, and science. The foundation was able to do donate such a large amount of money because many families, local businesses, and district employees donated to the cause. The Los Angeles San Gabriel Hilton Hotel also made a $28,000 donation. The San Gabriel Educational Foundation also received a K-3rd music program grant from the Pasadena Showcase House.